what's up with y'all back again with another video appreciate y'all tuning into another one of my videos we're gonna get right into it subscribe like comment share you feel what i'm saying as you can tell by the title of the video my clothing brand made me drop out of school and here's why as some of you know as some of you don't know my name is co-founder trenton scott co-founded a clothing brand called say less lifestyle <clears throat> established in 2020 with the motivation to inspire our generation to do more and say less work in silence let your results do the talking you know what i'm saying 500k on tiktok or 500k on tiktok finding 60k something like that 90k on instagram you know what i'm saying to give y'all the little backstory of my life before 2020 i was a uh pursuing basketball uh, as I mean pursuing basketball, my definite chief aim in life was to become a Div Division One basketball player or make it to the league or go overseas, you know what I'm saying? Do something of that sort and play pro basketball professionally. And sometimes things don't work out the way you expect it just because I believe that God's plan is better than our plan. And it's always God's timing. With that being said, all my life was dedicated to a basketball. I didn't really have... Um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have much accurate knowledge on other things besides basketball, basketball, basketball. And that's, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man of discipline. Basketball was giving me a certain feeling I liked, you know what I'm saying? So I liked playing it. I worked hard at it. I was persistent at it. I, you know what I'm saying? I improved a bunch. I became one of the best basketball players in my area. Um, newspaper, you know what I'm saying? First team, all area, all that. With that being said, after my 12th grade year, I had a few colleges looking at me, but I did not like the colleges who were looking at me. So with that being said, I went to prep school. For an entire year, I dedicated prep school. As in, you know what I'm saying? Prep school is for basketball players that's looking to go uh, to college in some way, you know what I'm saying? So uh, in a higher division than which was their opportunity. It's like a high school, but it's just more concentrated on basketball. I went to prep school for a year. Got a couple uh, Division II interest, you know what I'm saying? It still wasn't really what I wanted, but I chose to go back home and go ahead and uh, go to a local college of my area. With that being said, you know what I'm saying? I went there for a year. I played basketball, played about seven or eight games in my collegiate career. Um, I was injured for half of the season, but seven or eight games, I averaged about 11 to 12 points a game. I could do, I could do a lot on that court, but... When I left prep school in March of 2020, we started the clothing brand. I had no idea. I had no idea what I was doing. I just, we just started it. Me, myself, and co-founder Eddie Scott just started the clothing brand. And we didn't just get Say Less out of anywhere. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that in another video on where Say Less lifestyle came from and things of that sort. But that's, that's a video for another day. Me and Eddie, Eddie and I co-founded the brand. Made the Instagram, website, trademark, all that good stuff. Now, we started with zero dollars. That's another video for another day. <clears throat> but with that being said, <clears throat> I'm going into college with a brand, with a clothing brand. I went into college with a clothing brand like, okay, I'm going to go get my four-year degree. My, my, mind you, I'm still playing basketball. I'm a full-time collegiate basketball player. For those that know, that's like a full-time job. 2021, I was in college with my brand. My brand was a year in. We just started to fully establish ourselves. We just started to, you know what I'm saying, get a motto and things of that sort and get the accurate knowledge about this clothing brand stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I had to, my whole mindset on basketball shift shifted after I discovered self-improvement and dedicated myself to self-improvement every day. Um and personal development. So with that being said, my mindset on basketball shift shifted. And you know what I'm saying? I realized that if I didn't drop out of school, my clothing brand wasn't going to take off. It, all right. I'm not going to say if I stayed in school because my co-founder, my business partner stayed in school, but he has one, he's finishing up his year right now. But with that being said, his last year, he's finished up his last year. But with that being said, one of us had to drop out in order to take this brand to a next to the next level. Mind you, when I was in school and all the way up to leading until the point I dropped out or a little bit after that, up all the way up until March 2020 to January 2022. 
we the max we generated in one month was three thousand dollars the max we generated and i'm talking about three thousand dollars with three thousand dollars ad spend that's what i'm talking about there's no profit being made i'm talking about we're doing all we can to get these orders me i just said earlier in the video i'm a man of discipline you know what i'm saying so with that being said I knew that I had to concentrate all my efforts. And here's why my clothing bear made me drop out of school. Because I had to concentrate all my efforts. All my, and dedicate all my time and be committed to my clothing brand. There is no plan B. I had to realize that and take a risk for myself. Yes, my family wanted me to stay in school. Yes, they were giving me their opinions. Da, 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 da. Adversity came my way. I don't care. I had make, to make up a decision in my mind. Because it's worse off if you go to school and you don't even know what you want to do. That's worse. So this is why I dropped out. Because I had to concentrate all my efforts. And the number one way men fail is by broken focus. I wasn't focused on only my clothing brand. That's why I wasn't succeeding. When I dropped out about, I would say, give it about six months. I had to work my butt off and get money. Because, like I said, I dedicated my whole life to basketball. I came from zero dollars. I came from nothing. We built this clothing brand from nothing. I worked my butt off, got a job, dishwasher, da da da. Put the hours in, stayed down until I came up. And mind you, I still own the clothing brand. I'm still motivating people. I'm still doing what I gotta do. I'm still implementing those actions with no results. I'm telling my girlfriend, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my mom, all right, I got you. Hold on, just wait. I I'll pay that bill soon. Ba ba ba. Guess what? Six months later, January 2022, I quit my job. February 2022, we moved inside the kiosk in the Galleria Mall and we generated $15,000 in one month. By that time, we were out of the matrix. I knew that the results were here and it's time for show mode, show or go mode. And at that point, it's been a foot on a gas pedal. And once you make your first six figure month, it's the domino effect. Momentum, like I say in other videos, momentum, that's the key right there. I had to build momentum for myself. And the way I was going to do that is to fully focus on my clothing brand, not worry about what nobody was telling me, none of them opinions, focused on my clothing brand. And we've turned this joint to a six-figure business. And I'm not just talking about we ain't just settled at 15K a month. But you know what I'm saying? Go check out my other videos to see what we, li we really have made. Um, and it's not even about that. It's about the impact we have left on people and how many people have say less shirts. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 put, them, we, we put them hours in. We deserve everything that's coming to us only because we put them hours in. And that's the way you're going to do it. It's by putting the hours in. And I had to change my environment. I couldn't be in college anymore because of the environment. The people around me had no definite chief aim. Not against the people that were around me. Some of them, yes, you're going to school, be a nurse, that's cool. I'm, I'm talking about the people that go there undecided. Or people that are around me that are just trying to mess with women all the time. They're, that's no definite chief aim. That's no definite purpose. And for me, my environment is very important. And you know what I'm saying? I had to make myself uncomfortable. Most people want to take the route of least resistance. If you can make your make the littlest difference, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make that littlest difference in your life too. You know what I'm saying? There's a bigger risk, but a bigger reward. There's a big risk, but a bigger reward. And I knew that in the back of my mind. And that's the biggest thing. I believed in myself. To drop out of school. You can't drop out of school with no definite chief aim. Develop a definite chief aim. It's okay if you don't have plans. You can develop plans along the way and get better along the way. As long as you've made up in your mind definitely that you're going to be committed to your clothing brand. And no, nothing's going to stop you and you're going to build it to a six-figure business and you're going to live off your clothing brand. Then just know it's going to get hard. But just know them results are coming sooner or later if you put in the work because you reap what you sow. Everybody has their own path. Trust your process. Don't look to the other person and say, why is why he just started his clothing brand a year ago? Why is he there? Why we have 19? Blah, blah, blah. Stop. Take it upon yourself to make it. Go watch my other videos for, for more um, details on how to build your six-figure business. You're more than capable. It's about you taking that step and you taking that risk. It's not a risk if you know what you're doing, but just gain the accurate knowledge through experience. And obviously through, you're, you're right here. You're learning it through YouTube right now. So that's a great place. 
Subscribe for more content. I hope this video helped you. But that's why my clothing brand made me drop out of school for concentration. I had to fully concentrate all my efforts. And if you read the book, Think and Grow Rich, The 30 Major Co Causes of Failure, it says lack of concentration of all your efforts, whatever situation may be. If you don't make up in your mind that this clothing brand ish is you're going to be your life and you're going to be obsessed with it, then it's not for you. Say, let's do more. You have to condition your mind to be a clothing brand owner and a CEO because things are going to come your way. Adversity's coming, but there's a seed of equivalent benefit. There's a seed in there that you have to search for and look for due to your attitude and your actions. For the universe or nature to give you what you want, you have to obey its laws. There's laws to success. You know what I'm saying? Concentrating all your efforts is definitely a bonus and a law to, to success. Concentrate all your efforts on your clothing brand. Be committed. And I had to be committed in order to take my brand to six figures. I had to drop out of school in order to take my brand to six figures. Say let's do more. I appreciate y'all tuning into another one of my videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let's go.